Hey everyone, how you doing? Tom Kilkenny, Nightline Radio. I'm here with the incomparable Sal Albatello, who put on this huge old school barbecue event right here in Queens. We're live on Nightline Radio. Those of you who don't know Sal Albatello, you might as well just turn off your radio right now. This is the man with, from Disco Fever, from, oh man, promoter, producer, uh, it, it, club owner. That's about every and anything, putting on this insane event. I'm enjoying myself so much. The eclectic group of people that we have on stage tonight. We got Sugar Hill Gang. We had Coro. We just had the Vargas Brothers. Uh, you know, the Dynamic Breakers. I mean, we got so much going on tonight. Cynthia, I mean, I could go on and on and on. You keep doing this year after year after year. What keeps you going, Sal? <clears throat> First of all, you left out Playboy model, okay? Playboy model, I'm Thank sorry. You. Thank you. Uh, well, for the love of the music, the people, these kids grew up on my parties. I had about four, defca- four decades of music. So everybody I've touched when they were teenagers. So if they're 30 now, or 40, or 50, or 60, they've been going to my parties since they're kids. I keep this group together. They all know each other, and that's why the energies are so great at the party, because I keep this going for them. I bring them to different locations, different parties to keep the flow going, you know? And it's all about the old school music, and uh, you see how much they love it. You know, Sal, I'm 42 years old, so I grew up watching, you know, Crush Groove, the whole nine yards. Uh, yo, the Vargas brothers, they got their boys on stage yeah. dancing with them now. Uh, you know what? Outside of old school barbecue, what's next on the agenda for Sal Abatello and Fever? Well, we just had a big concert in Poughkeepsie. We sold out 2,200 seats. I just did Radio City. We sold that out. We just did Wellmont Theater in New Jersey. We sold that out. And what we got coming up is uh, we have November 1st at Westbury Music Fair. Uh, we saw that out last year, and then we got uh, November 15th at Melrose Ballroom in Queens, uh, New Jersey Pack, uh, December 6th, Mohegan Sun, November 8th, okay. Lima College next year, doo-wop, disco, hip-hop, and freeze to all different concerts, and then I got my birthday party at the Copacabana on Thanksgiving Eve, baby. Hey, listen, you know what? You're not only doing promotions, I was there this past Tuesday at the Erica Roman Memorial Foundation event. What an awesome event for such a great cause. Uh, What makes you keep on doing the foundations, keep on getting that going? I mean, we know it's all about the kids, and it's definitely, you know, remembering Erica Roman. Uh, Next year is the seventh annual. This year was such a huge turnout. I've been to ones in, in the past. This one was such a huge turnout. What's in the What's in the works for next year? I know we already heard you're working on next year already. What do we got What do we got planned for next year? Well, we're in our se- well, sixth year this year, and uh, we donate all the proceeds to the Children's Aid Society in the Bronx. We built them a recording studio so the kids can mentor. Because uh, what I try to do is to mentor children and even adults with music, you know, sports and education. And those are the three things that keep people motivated. And those are the three things that the most three important things in your life. Music, education, and, uh, and uh, sports. And that's what we enjoy. So I try to do all my events around that. I also, uh, in Erica's name, who was my foster child, I, uh, I have a, uh, we donate the money to them. And then we, uh, my partner, Vivian Rivera, who passed away of cancer, uh, of the Erica Roman Foundation, we do Happy This Is Camping for kids with cancer in New Jersey. And we send kids from the Bronx to camp. And uh, we go out there, we do a disco party, we bring a DJ, DJ Solo, White Boy, First Class, and we have a great time. What I try to do is bring the people together with their children so I can meet everybody's families. I keep it very family oriented, as you can see at this event. And you know what, Sal? You inspire all of, of us at Nightline Radio. I know on behalf of the CEO of Nightline Radio, Frank D'Angelo, I mean, you're one of his mentors. You're one of the reasons why he got involved in doing this, as well as Rudy. So, you know what, on behalf of Nightline Radio, you know, we really appreciate you letting us be involved in such amazing events like this and the Erica Roman Foundation. And we really look forward to working with you very closely in the future, whatever you need. Well, Nightline, I've always been tight. I'm very good friends with all the people involved there. A lot of them I grew up since they were kids. And I'm very glad to see that Nightline is taking it to another level. So I try to bring them to my events. And, you know, however I could help in the growth of Nightline, you know, that'll be good because that's what I'm about. If you look at all the kids out of my camp, they've all been successful. Everybody that comes out of my camp, I have six kids that used to work with me who own restaurants and nightclubs in the Bronx right now. And that's saying a lot. My legacy is very important to me. And, you know, you guys are part of it, too. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Sal Albatello, Mr. Fever, Disco King himself right here, baby, only on Nightline Radio. Nice. You got it, bro.